Welcome back, Wolfpack Verlis here, and this is how to use Azumarill. Wait, what? Those stats don't look right. Well, naturally, Azumarill only has 50 base attack, but at the same time, it also has the huge power ability. Pretty much only going to be wanting to use huge power on Azumarill, so after factoring in the EVs and like maxing out its investment, it puts you closer to a 149 base attack. Now that means Azumarill is going to be fairly ridiculous because 100 hit points is already very good. Like for a tanky aspect, 100 is very nice on those hit points. 80 on the defenses means you're going to have some good uh, just bulk and durability overall. So now we're looking at a tanky Pokemon that has ridiculous amounts of attack and that works out really well. Against typing, it's a fairy water typing. Uh, fairy water is fairly interesting because you re you don't have your steel weakness anymore. That becomes a neutral hit because of the water. You're still weakens poison, grass, and electric. But you do have a lot of resistances, a dragon immunity. I mean, the fairy typing strong, the water typing strong. Putting them together, you have great stab. You have great durability. I mean, the zoom roll is just comes together and becomes this really amazing Pokemon. And we hop into Pokemon Showdown to figure out how to use a zoom roll. First that we're going to be looking at is Belly Drum a zoom roll. This is a terrifying Pokemon because it gets set up so quick and it's very reliable. That what we do is we use Belly Drum and Citrus Berry to kind of manipulate this. That it does cut your attack to half and it maximizes your attack. But with Citrus Berry, it's going to drop you to half, which means that now you get a quarter of your hit points back, so you're only at 75%. With 100 base hit points and 80 base defenses, it's very difficult to knock out this Pokemon without a super effective hit. And even then, if it's a weak super effective hit, Azumarill still has a small chance of surviving which even makes it scarier, and after that, you just priority sweep and your opponent can't do anything about it. That when we look at this, you know, the attack is going to be 112 at level 50, so I just wanted to show the level 50 stats because that's what makes sense for the EVs. You are going to need even hit points on this, so 206, that's what it's going to cut down into half, and then you're good to go from there. At level 100, it does change just a little, so we're going to have to look at that. Actually, you can be the same, but with this, you can actually put more into it. You can max out your hit points, and it'll still be safe for the belly drum only at level 50, or only at level 100. Level 50 is going to be for the game, level 100. This set right here is more going to be for simulators, and that's kind of how it plays out. So, I mean, you look at it, that attack is at 218. That's going to double to 416, and then that's going to quadruple because of the way that Belly Drum works, maximizing your attack. And then you just throw out ridiculous Aqua Jets. So now we're just going to have Stab, we're going to have Priority, and really, if you're not resisting it, that's going to be a KO in many situations, and even some resisted KOs will be found on this. So you put Azumarill with uh, Stealth Rocks or Spikes, just softening up your opponent, guaranteeing those KOs even more, or you bring it later on in the game where a lot of your opponent's power has been reduced, and now Azumarill does some very scary things. At the same time, it is that risk-reward, risk that if it, you don't score that KO with Aqua Jet, well now you're low from setting up Belly Drum, you know, p potentially taking a Retribution hit, and that could be pretty bad. Knock off and play rough or just coverage. If you find that you're going up against a super, like, stally wall Pokemon, you can uh, use those moves to kind of break them down a little more reliably. On that, people will like running Choice Band Azumarill. They just kind of come in and soak up hits while dishing out stronger hits back. Against Dragon type Pokemon, play rough is going to obliterate them, or you can just kind of priority with Aqua Jet. Huge power Choice Band on Aqua Jet. You can find some two, three hit KOs on this, and it's all going to be priority, so you're going to at least be able to knock out an opponent and then do a little more on top of that. Again, knock off and superpower. It's just huge coverage at this point that you can pretty much hit many, many things super effective or at least get strong neutral hits on that play rough that could just choice ban play rough with this can turn into neutral KOs as well. So the idea is you want to try to survive as many hits as possible, potentially throwing out one or two KOs with a little bit of chip damage if you are using Aqua Jet because it's priority like that. And then it's pretty much going to be the same thing, max out the hit points, max out the attack, Go with that extra point defense because it's just going to make you slightly more durable. You might also even see Assault Vest Azumarill or you might want to use that for yourself. That now you're just making it to where you're going to be super bulky on your weaknesses because most likely you're going to be seeing an Energy Ball, a Thunderbolt, a Sludge Bomb. And those are special attacks. So now you have a chance of enduring that and then throwing back some stronger hits and then trying to finish them off with an Aqua Jet under that priority. And again, that's pretty much what Azumarill is going to do. This is also going to give you durability instead of being locked into a Choice Band. And at the same time, sometimes you might see a Life Orb even on Azumarill because it's just going to be for that extra damage and then you do have the freedom to switch moves. And other than that, you might also see a Lumberry. That way if they try to burn you, well, that's a Lumberry. They waste a turn, eat a play rough, and get killed. Pretty much idea. And that's Azumarill. It's pretty much going to be an item choice that dictates your moveset a bit and then you run main coverage like Aqua Jet, play rough, knock off, super power, and belly drum if you want to run the belly drum set. And then the item is pretty much whatever personal preference you think your team needs or whatever might add to the Azumarill a little more. If you want to go for that tricky outplay, you have the Lumber. If you want to be durable, you have Assault Vest. If you want to just blow people up, Choice Band, etc. It works out like that. Now, 
Some people might mention that I'm not, I don't have Waterfall on. Waterfall isn't, it's like a very niche level of where it works. Because if you think about it, Aqua Jet, you use that twice, that's the same damage as a Waterfall and you're still getting hit once. The only time that Waterfall really works over just having Aqua Jet is that, you know, you take the hit, you need to throw out a walk Waterfall into an Aqua Jet to secure a KO. And that's only going to be on a moveset like Assault Vest or Lumberry. And at the same time, you know, Super Power, it just gives you that extra coverage that you need. That Azumarill does get walled out by Ferrothorn, it does get walled out by certain Pokemon like that, and then you can just Super Power it instead, and you're good to go. So as for double battles, it's pretty much the same thing, that you'll see like Bandit Azumarill and doubles just like, oh, I'm gonna hit you hard with priority, and then it's going to try to run with battle. You can try to support it with Light Screen, Reflect, Trick Room, something like that, if you do want to go for a Belly Drum, and it is very risky, but if you get that Belly Drum under Trick Room, your opponent loses, just pretty much just like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a nice day. That's how you use Azumarill in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire.